Malaysia's number one hit music station, Shasha Madu over here, wishing you a great weekend ahead. Now, weekends are days where we usually plan for get togethers, lunches with our loved ones, and even last minute holiday plans, right? So, I've never went on a holiday until quite recently where I actually booked a flight ticket at 1 a.m. to go all the way to Johor Bahru at 9 a.m. the same day because I wanted to catch my boyfriend on his graduation ceremony so when I got there not only did I get to see him in his graduation room but I also got to taste the best crawfle in town let us know what's your favorite holiday experience in the meantime if you ask me what's it like you know Shasha being on flight for the first time ever in your life well it feels like sun on my skin this is what falling in love feels like by Jake on Hits FM Hits FM Malaysia's number one hit music station Kate McRae, you broke me first. Now, I don't know about you, but that really brought me back to my first love. It was a typical high school love story, but just one month before what was supposed to be our one year anniversary, I found out that he was cheating on me. And guess what? I had to find out through a WhatsApp profile picture. That's right, a WhatsApp profile picture. And uh, I was heartbroken. I mean, who wouldn't be? But it's been a few years, I moved on, and I genuinely hope that he's doing well out there. So, Kai, if you're listening to this, good for you. Olivia Rodrigo, Hits FM. Hits FM, Malaysia's number one hit music station. Introducing, drum rolls, please. Joshua. Yo, it's been a dream to be here on Hits FM. Speaking of dreams, I've always wanted to be a professional prankster. Yup, you heard that right? Pranking people and puppies that's my hobby man that's my hobby i've been pranking people since i was a child man gotcha was always my inspiration and my guideline to prank others yo all my pranks right i planned them six months prior seven months prior the best prank that i did i actually convinced my group of friends that i was going to get married so the pranking like took place like from the first month, the second month, to the third month, to the fourth month, all the way to the part where I actually got married in my imagination. <laughs> and the second prank that I did on someone was my friend back when I was in primary school. Uh, I went for this uh, art competition and my friends like they hated arts man. I don't know why they hated arts but they hated arts. So what I did was uh, I did this abstract art kind of thing. And then uh, I signed up my friend's name on it instead of my name. So I actually won second place, okay? I won second place and when they called up my friend's name to receive the prize, yo, his face, poker face, man. Like, <laughs> I was laughing all the way like when he went to receive the prize. Then I went up to him and then I told him, hey, you know what? You can keep the name, you can keep the title, but give me my prize. So I took the prize and I still I still have that prize until today. And uh, the best part about pranking, I was actually paid to do it at Night of Fright Sunway. So here is Justin Bieber on Hits FM. Hits FM, Malaysia's number one hit music station. Simran here and I have a question for you guys. So have you guys ever just wanted to escape from all the stress from the work or even school? Well, one really good way to do that is through hobbies. So, I really enjoy baking, but honestly, when I first started, I wasn't exactly the best baker around and I might have almost accidentally set my mom's kitchen on fire. Sorry, mom. And half of the things I made, honestly, I wouldn't say it was edible. And I also really, really enjoy writing. Honestly, I can write my stress away for hours, you know, because to me, writing is like an escape, you know, because you're able to create your own plot, your own storyline, your own reality. It's limitless and the best part is no one can stop you from doing that. So I really encourage you guys to pick up on at least one hobby that you can do while keeping yourself busy and having fun at the same time. And you can even share it to your friends, you know, you can be like, hey, I picked up something really cool. And the best part about getting a hobby is you can always learn something new. And speaking of something new, have you guys listened to Conan Gray's new album? Because honestly, I love it so much. So his memories by Conan Gray on Hits FM. Hits FM, which is number one hit music station. Liz Zara here to accompany you this Monday afternoon. I remember when I used to come home from school, it would be one of the best feelings ever. You know why? Because we get to finally relax. 
But you know what's even better? Being able to take part in our favorite hobbies. I would use to come home from school, get in front of the TV, watch my favorite shows, and then eat some delicious home-cooked food like ayam goreng blachan with rice and kangkong. And then spill food all over the sofa, which gets me scolded by my mom. Ah, <sighs> good times. But can eating be considered a hobby? Because, you know, some people say it's not, but I, I beg to differ. You see, there's two ways of eating food. The first way is for the sole purpose of refueling yourself with energy. So you tend to eat kind of fast. And then the second way is to savor every delectable bite and really enjoy it. Obviously, I'm the latter. You can probably tell how much I love food right now. But aside from food, after my lunch, I would still be on the sofa, push the dish aside, and then play games on my PlayStation. My favorite games are Assassin's Creed, um, Final Fantasy, and Resident Evil. If you know, you know. So I get that not everybody likes gaming, but I love it because when you're in game, you get to be transported into a whole new world and go on epic adventures and see like really amazing stuff. If you're not a gamer, I say you should try it. Find a game that you vibe with and game on. Anyway, you know who else is a gamer? Marshmallow. And here he is with Juice World on Hits FM.